So this would be my very first video of the Woman to Woman series. I know a couple of you guys have been looking forward to this series. Girl, yes, look at this hair. This is that um, flat twist with perm rods I did. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> just, just checking myself off in the mirror here. Um, and the Woman to Woman series, I have certain videos that I want to bring to you. However, there may be some videos I may just bring on you guys. I hope you're okay with that. Still trying to figure out a best, um, as far as the schedule goes, I think I'm going to bring one to you guys every two weeks or so, depending on my mood. So this is the very first one. And why not start off with a bang, girl? I will be using correct terminology. Sometimes I may slip up and say pocketbook lady parts but that's just because i'm i'm silly disclaimer if you do not want to hear this if you're not into this um i would prefer if you're 18 years and older because there are some things i'm going to bring up that are not for children but at some point girl you're gonna have to learn how to uh, uh clean your vagina but um i hope you guys enjoy this video those of you who have any other advice or tips please put them down below below i am a hygiene type of I don't want you I don't want to call it OCD but I'm very very particular when it comes to smells and hygiene um, when I was living in Texas I would change my clothes if I felt sweaty I would change my clothes numerous of times because it's humid and then also include my underwear if I'm getting hot and all that I, I change everything and I would shower it is not it was not uncommon at least for me and I know my husband was the same way for me to shower twice in the day so anyway, just to let you know, that's the background. So I think I know what I've been doing has been working. Your vagina is a self-cleaning organ. Um, there is not a lot you need to do to ensure that it's clean and that you're not having any unpleasant smells. I think we all know by now that no one really does any dishing anymore. I mean, that went away in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, you don't have to use scented products and it's probably best that you don't use those scented products. I do not use anything on the market for feminine hygiene. I know there, there's some people who still use some things, but for me personally, I don't use those items. So my first tip will have to be, um, just your lifestyle. You really, really want to make sure that you are eating a well-balanced diet, that you're drinking plenty of water. I don't see how people can eat um, a bunch of junk food and don't think that's not going to show up in their face, their, their skin, and their lady parts and how it smells. Like seriously and honestly, I'm not trying to be funny about that. So um, I try to eat a very well-balanced diet. I don't eat a lot of junk food. I'm trying to lay off on the processed food. I don't do dairy at all. Uh, sometimes I'll have a little creamer, but I have switched over to almond creamer, okay? Another thing to point out is that women secrete a little bit more depending on it's before the menstrual cycle or after the menstrual cycle. So any type of vaginal discharge is normal. Is when it starts to smell, changing color, that's abnormal, okay? Maybe there's an infection, um, an STD, an STI. There are certain... Um, bacterial overgrowth that can cause a scent such as bacterial vaginosis um, and also chlamydia is another one that can cause your vagina to smell when that happens you need to go see a doctor and i have heard or read stories of women that have tried all of that and they still have prop problems with the smell ph your ph is off it is if you're very sensitive it is real easy to throw off a P your pH, right? It could be clothes. It could be condoms. Um, it could be certain medications you may be taking. So I'm going to show you guys something that I purpose just on Amazon for this video that have worked for other women besides taking a daily probiotic which I would recommend anyway I'm all out but I need to be taking one um, and a really good pro probiotic if you get, can get one that's vegan even better I purchased this on Amazon probiotic for your actual vagina and let's go ahead and open this up I don't even know what it looks like I purchased this a while back also oh, it looks like one of those tubes for like a, um when you have a yeast infection so okay yeah and you would just put this in here y'all this is the first time I opened this up seriously I guess you would just take one of these tubes put it in and insert it into your vagina um and again this can help with, help with stabilizing your vagina ph which will help with scent so extra secretions and all that 
and now we I will be putting this below in the description box um I've heard of other things such as soaking in, in baking soda um putting uh I wouldn't do this but some people have worked <laughs> putting yogurt on a tampon and inserting it in your vagina girl please no, I wouldn't do it. But apparently, if it works for you, great. Um, apple cider vinegar soaks. Um, vinegar soaks of tea tree oil is another one, which I would still be careful with that. Um, so let, now let's get into a little bit more of the hygiene. Besides eating well, you know, taking probiotics when you now have a problem. But this right here is maintenance. So I use a separate soap from my body soap. I just do. I have been using peppermint soap now for years um for my lady parts so i use the dr bronner's castle bar soap you can purchase this anywhere i got this from um walmart but they also have liquid soap now i find in the dr bronner's version too i find that his is more potent so i typically dilute it the liquid soap that is because it's concentrate but the equate version is not so bad so i've been using this too off and on and it's good it's really good again castle soap um also when i go to the bathroom i make sure that i use moist wipes depending on what i'm doing we all use moist wipes girls gotta make sure you're clean and we know how to wipe properly by now okay to so make sure that you're not tracking any of the matter up into your vagina region so yes gotta use wipes shaving I do shave I do believe in shaving however um, hair serves a purpose okay body hair that is serves, serves a purpose is there to protect your body is there to protect certain areas but I'm not trying to look like Harry and Henderson so I do make sure that it is well kept down below just using regular um, shaving shaver nothing you know fancy i know some people they go get their legs up to the sky and get a brazilian wax no. besides the peppermint soap really that's it i don't use anything that's scented very very gentle when washing the area you're making sure that you put you got multiple stuff going making sure that you're pulling i'm not trying to be funny but you want to make sure that you're cleaning thoroughly um but you're very gentle with what you're doing because that area down below is extremely gentle you don't want to be rough and scrubbing around you don't want to be doing too much. You want to be gentle, okay? Use warm, soapy water and a, a dishcloth. Please use a separate dishcloth. I, I, I'm not... Yes, I would use a different, a separate dishcloth or I have separate dishcloths from my body dishcloths. Sometimes I don't even use it at all. As long as my hands are real soapy, I get down below and work it in and we're good. Um, patting it dry. Um, I try not to wear a lot of tight clothes. The only thing tight down below I wear is for church, my stockings, and I immediately take those off. Um, a few days out of the month, I go bottomless at night to let her breathe because that's just <laughs> that's just how I am, you guys. That's just my tip for me personally. Um, I know in other countries, I've heard of vaginal steaming, and I once saw a documentary, and I think I want to say it was in Ethiopia, where a woman had squatted over a almost like simmering fire of different herbs and she was steaming her vagina, which is very it was very interesting to see that. Um, as far as underwear go. It may not be cute, it may not be sexy, 100% cotton. I'm not having anything up in my butt, you know, no G-strings or nothing. I mean, now after 10 o'clock when we wanna play, okay. But doing everyday wear, I'm not wearing no thong. I'm not wearing no G-string. I'm not wearing anything that's tight. I'm wearing loose, fruit of loom panties. Drawers, that's what I'm wearing. <laughs> Sorry. I try to keep this as professional as possible. But yes, that's for those of you who do wear underwear. Because I know there's some women who don't. That 100% cotton is the way to go. And again, um, sometimes I will wear a panty liner in between the months, in between the days of the month, depending on um, any type of vaginal discharge, which is, again, very normal. It's when it's a different color and this has a smell to it. Um, and this is mostly after my menstrual cycle for me, for me personally. Um, changing up pads, any type of uh, whatever feminine products that you use, ensuring that you're changing those out often. Cleaning while you're on your menstrual cycle is important. I know there's some women who don't, 
but there's this is dried blood y'all now I'm, I'm just getting graphic i know if you don't like to hear this okay but it's dried blood you want to make sure that you're cleaning your vagina when you're on your cycle it's very important okay if your ph off you can have an overgrowth when you have an overgrowth you need to treat that with probiotics possibly some medication through your doctor your OBGYN. um and that can happen to the best of us either through you know a yeast infection or something like that but ensuring that you're eating well taking vitamins cleaning properly changing your underwear when when needed using the right product set um but yeah castle bar soap what i use i love it and that is it you guys let me know drop down below what your tips and secrets are so that is it take care